Here we go guys, one dog fish. There's another one down at the shore. He let himself off right on the shoreline. We'll get it back out there. Try to catch something a bit better. Here's the other dog fish, Sharma's got him. Oh, probably would have helped if I turned my headlight off. Oh, that's probably a good idea, isn't it? Yeah. Here we go guys, here's a dog fish. Negative 20 points, I'm winning. <laughs> it's true though, isn't it? Each dog fish is worth minus 10. Starting to get some good action now, guys. The uh, the big one's swaying slightly, but the shorter one, oh, he's been giving it all sorts of moves. There you go, fish on. We'll get him in a sec. Oh, the big one's giving it now. Nice and fishy tonight, the way we like it. What do you reckon, Bandit? What fish we got? Who? Hey? Would you believe it, guys? Bandit is 14 years old next week. Amazing, isn't it? Come here, bubs. Who's my bubba? Oh, he's a good boy. All right, guys, got my lure rod set up with my squid jig. So we're using a 3.5. This one's like a blue mackerel color. Uh, the 3.5 is the weight up this end. And yeah, so calm tonight, it's getting pretty clear. There's no point uh, not having a go with this, really. Might get lucky. Yeah, mate, we're slacking. We should have been doing this sooner. Well, yeah, guys, have been slacking. Should have been doing this sooner. Literally first cast. I reckon that's the biggest squid I've ever caught. Look at that bad boy. Shit, I compare it to Simon, just bring him over a bit, sir. So. He's bigger than the fish. <laughs> that's an absolute kraken of a squid. Right, guys. We'll get this one dispatched and we'll keep going mate, hopefully we'll find a few tonight. I'm absolutely gassed, that is definitely the biggest squid I've ever caught. I wasn't sure that I was on, he wasn't giving it any pullback like a squid normally does, he just felt like a dead weight. Yeah, a very chunky squid. So we can find a few more. Right? Oh, I can catch a little one. Live it or kill it and stick it straight out there fresh. Oh, and it feels like a big one. That's giving me some hell of a pullback, I hope you can see it. Hope I land this one. That was a hell of a fight for a squid. It's coming in a bit easier now. Here he comes. 
What do you think of that, eh, Bandit? Oh, he's another big one, too. Yeah, look at that. That's another lovely squid, that one. Real chunker. I think I'll be having some calamari with the family in the next couple of days. Let's get them off and go again. Right guys, this jig is working out lovely, so I'm not going to switch him just yet. I'm going to keep going with the same jig. What do you think of them, Bandit? Now I seem to be picking them up about half the way in on my casting length. So I might not even try to cast as hard as I can, to be honest, in the next few casts. And the jigging seems to help, but a little bit of bottom trawling as well seems to be also where I'm getting them. I think there's a little ridge out there. I have to just do, give it a little bottom trawl up that ridge. I've hooked up twice. Yeah, both of them squid are so big, there's only one thing for them. A bit of calamari. They're just too big to be used as bait. Not unless you're going on a boat. So you saw a live squid, yeah? So we're at the end of October, we've got Halloween this weekend and it's really warm. I've never known it would be so warm this time of year. If anything, I don't really need this coat on. back in <laughs> you can see Simon's having some fun over there <laughs> I just lost one Yes, out the god that bandit! Ooh, you test my patience sometimes, look. Here we go, guys. Forgot to turn the camera back on, but he's my third squid of the night. He's probably the smallest for sure. But I'm still happy to have him. He was caught probably almost at maximum range, but only uh, turned the reel a couple of times. And I was squid on. Let's keep going. Guys, I'm devastated. It was all going so well, and for no reason at all, my dial were black and gold. It's a snap there, right on the join. Absolutely gutted. Ah, uh, yeah. This rod's caught me a lot of fish, a lot of squid. <laughs> this is sad. I was really happy a few minutes ago, but yeah. 
What can you do? Um, that might slow me down on the squid fishing for tonight, guys. I'll see if I can uh, work something out, but yeah, gutted. Right, guys, down but not out. I've taken the shorter of my two bait rods, stuck a two flapper on there, the lightest weight I could find, and two squid jigs. Don't normally fish for squid like this, but uh, see what we can do. Simon here is onto the action. He seems to be well into a uh, school of shad. There we go. One coming in there. Yeah, all wrapped up. Oh, well, that's good at getting them. Bandit is interested. <laughs> Alright guys, down but never out. The contraption works. I could just about feel him pulling through the, through this rod. It's quite a stiff 13 footer. But uh, yeah, happy as pie that I'm still going, even though I've broken my lure on. Another decent sized squid as well, look at him. Happy days. Hello guys, sorry I haven't been filming much. We've had a bit of a busy moment. So if you look over here, See, we've got seven decent sized squid here. Simon's even got one out as a live bait. So uh, yeah, eight squid between us. Look at that, that's the biggest squid I've ever caught that one though. I'll weigh it when I get home, but I reckon that's maybe a couple of pounds of squid. Good stamp tonight. Anyway guys, I've got a float out there. I nearly got one in on it just a few moments ago, but I managed to lose it just at the shoreline there. Uh, but I put it straight back out. What I've done, I've got a squid jig and I've tied a bit of mackerel to it and I've just put them out there underneath the float. Um, he's swinging around to the right, so I'll just keep an eye on it. And then uh, hopefully I'm successful on this time when I get him in. And then, uh, yeah, just gonna keep on going with the squid jigs with the uh, heavier rods. Anyway guys, we'll carry on. We'll see how many more we can get. Another lovely squid on the triple squid jig. Not a triple shot like Simon, unfortunately, but I'll <laughs> take them, mate, one at a time. Fill a bucket up. Absolutely gorgeous animals. Look at them translucent in the light. All the chromatophores blinking and changing. Right, we'll get this one dispatched and we'll carry on. I'm going to get me floating next. I think uh, it, I just watched it disappear beneath the water. Right, guys, we've come to the end of the night. Let's have a look at the haul. Lovely, lovely. Oh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve squid there. Some of them are absolute monsters like this one. Look at that, I've got big hands. And that door's my hands. Look at this boy. Get some rocks on there. Good bandit. That's massive, isn't it? Yeah, my mom. Don't dig that too much, you might get a bit Well, guys, apart from breaking my lure rod, it's been an absolutely lovely, epic night's fishing. Um, loads of squid around. It's hard to leave the beach at the moment, but I've got to get Mushy Boo home. We've got work in the morning. Um, yeah, the northern winds and the full moon, I believe, helped. Uh, but yeah, I've never seen a squid this big before, so I'm absolutely chuffed. Anyway guys, we'll see you on the next one.